Hi, this is Paula from CHNE. Today we'll bring you the story of a local couple that was separated at the Canada-US border due to COVID-19 travel restrictions. John Allen Okwa is a Canadian citizen and his wife, Adrian Urings, is American. The federal government has indicated there will be exemptions for immediate family members of Canadian citizens crossing the border into Canada, but Mrs. Urings wasn't allowed to come in. Here's more on the efforts the couple is making to reunite at their home in Granite and a look at how decisions are made at the border. John Allen Okwa and Adrian Yorinx celebrated their wedding reception a year ago at the Inverness Council for the Arts. Since then, they've been sharing their time between their Cape Breton home and Florida. But this year is different. Travel restrictions are keeping them on different sides of the border. It looked like it was not going to be a problem. I had um, been uh, aware of the situation. I'd read Prime Minister Trudeau's statements that family members were not going to be excluded, that what uh, people were being prohibited from doing was coming across to do shopping, not non-essential um, travel. But when we showed up at the Canadian border, um, it looked like everything was fine. I had proof that we were married, gave that to the border agent and uh, then was told, well, there's a piece of paper that you have to sign. Can you go in? Just park your car over here. My wife stayed in the car with the two dogs. And at that time, or at that point, I was told, your wife can't come across. And I said, well, that's not what I understand because A, I'm, I've been relying on the Prime Minister's statements and also I had uh, printed out the orders in council which deal with uh, direct travel from the United States and travel from abroad. Um, the, I showed those to the border agent. He was a little perplexed as to how he was going to handle this. Eventually they said, uh, no, we're not going to let you across, or your wife across. So then we ha were told to go back directly to the United States. And at that point I was told I couldn't come into the United States because I had exited the United States and the border was closed. There was no similar exemption for uh, Canadian or for Americans to travel with their spouses. The border people at the U.S. though were very sympathetic, knew that our situation. They phoned the Canadian border people and asked them, well, can we just drive the car back and unload his luggage and then he'll have to arrange to have someone come and pick him up somehow to get back to Cape Breton Island. And they said, no, we don't want to see them at all. So we were just without a, a place to go. They then suggested that there was another border station, also in St. Stephen's. They're, they're not that far apart. They phoned them and they said, yes, he can come here with the luggage. And indeed, all of the people in that station came out and helped me move my, my things into a, a room. I had the phone number of my lawyer, who I'd consulted also before going, and he said there would be no problem that all of his clients were coming across with their, with their American spouses and that there would be no issue. But he'd given me his cell phone number just in case there was a problem. I called it, but at 5.30 in the morning, he was not awake yet. And so when he did get back to me, we spent the balance of the day trying to get my wife to uh, come into Canada. She, in the meantime, was on the American side with our two dogs in a parking lot, waiting for word that this was going to happen. At four o'clock, it became very clear that nothing was going to move that day. So she drove to New Hampshire and rented a, a hotel or motel with the two dogs with the hope that this would be resolved over the weekend at the very least and that she'd be able to drive back. It was four hours. Uh, it didn't get resolved over the weekend. Prime Minister Trudeau announced that immediate family members will be allowed to come into Canada. First, we will be denying entry to Canada to people who are not Canadian citizens or permanent residents. This measure will carve out some designated exceptions, including for air crews, diplomats, immediate family members of Canadian citizens, and at this time, U.S. citizens. After weeks of trying to get an answer from Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, the couple received a document available online that confirmed that immediate family members are allowed to enter the country. Something came today that they've uh, cl uh, clarified that spouses were supposed to be let in. So I should not have been rejected. Um, but I think they've, they're clarifying that better. It still also depends on what uh, border guard you get because I think they take the uh, 
one of them actually said, well, we are the government. We, we don't work for the government. We are the government. And I was like, okay. You know, so they, they are interpreting uh, at will, I think. Because some border crossings were letting people in and some weren't. We contacted the Canada Border Services Agency and received the following statement. To enter Canada, a foreign national spouse of a Canadian citizen or permanent resident must demonstrate that their travel is essential. Some examples of essential travel purposes are crossing the border for work and study, economic services and supply chains, critical infrastructure support, health, immediate medical help, safety and security, shopping for essential goods such as medication or goods necessary to preserve the health and safety of an individual or family, and other activities at the discretion of the border services officer. We asked whether people traveling under the same circumstances can obtain different decisions depending on the officer. We haven't received an answer yet. Yorix has been gathering her documents to apply for permanent residency in Canada. The couple has been in touch with the Department of Immigration and Citizenship and with the local federal MP Mike Kellaway, who says he's aware of the situation and is offering to help. We're not only aware of it, we're now involved in it. And uh, we're working to uh, ensure that whatever process needs to be filled out whatever process needs to be completed, paperwork or whatever the case may be, that we get to that point so that this person can be reunited with their wife. In the meantime, the couple has been staying busy by doing projects at home and staying in touch over the phone. You can send us your questions or story tips at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.